गुड मॉर्निंग मैम गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर मैम गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल राइट आर वी ऑल सेट आर वी ऑल सेट एंड आर वी ऑल रेडी गुड मॉर्निंग मैम so if one of you can get ready with the page please then we can go ahead with our story of an hour although it's been a story of please allow screen sharing sharing ma'am aap screen sharing allow kar dijiye story of an hour has taken more than an hour <laughs> i think quite a many hours it has taken although it's called story of an hour do you really think it's a story of an hour when we actually finish it in one hour there's so much in it what do you think thank you amandi yeah so i think that nice to have you here great 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 so i think most of you are here and we could begin with now to five more All right. So who is helping us read? And I think where where am I? I all right. Show. Sure. <laughs> Take your name. You know. Let's change the way we talk. Radhika. Ha. Say, say ma'am. Ma'am, can Radhika read? You know, like this. Hai na? Let's change the way we talk because we are online and we don't get to see faces all the time. So I think next time we'll make it as name. Hai na? We have spoken I I all our life. Now we start taking our own. Yes, Radhika. Then I think uh, I'll request you. uh to begin from here where were we and, and yet, yet she had, had loved him. him yes this is where i want this is exactly thank you and yet ma'am can i read please please start now can i name and yet she... with the name ma'am kyunki abhi aaye nahi hai na kaafi sare students doesn't matter we'll begin hai na like See, our time limit is there, na? Forty minutes. What do we do? We cannot wait. They'll join in, and since I'm, we all have videos, no? So I'm not very worried on also on that part. Nobody will really miss anything. I'll ensure. Yes. This is and yet she had loved him sometimes. So we had already Often talked about this. Remember, we were talking about her mental situation, her mental condition. We are discussing about her. marital life isn't it this is where i left last time we are trying to understand her marital life her married life that uh, her relationship we are trying to understand the relationship she has uh, she has had with the husband and i think it all starts because of the word free and free and free isn't it that's where uh, before that the thought even does the thought doesn't occur to us that we need to understand her marital relationship did it occur to you that you want to understand what kind of a marital life they must have had when was it the first time that the thought occurred that okay let's understand you know what is their relationship when is the first time uh, which word yeah which word where is that word which is that word which makes you think again that okay let's understand about their married life because of what she has spoken and what were those words she showed him something yeah free free and free yes exactly and said paragraph this line Uh, yes there was a little problem of the delay in the voice so you know the words got lost um if you can try and speak it again yeah uh, waiting to hear uh, definitely must be a wonderful thought and i need it i need it very much anyone anyone when was it that the thought that uh, not everything seems to be right between the husband and wife 
when uh, when does this thought come to you does it come to you or it doesn't come to you mom when she says free 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 it i mean that's the where the that's where the shock begins yes rubika very right i think i think we all you know kind of were stunned and shocked you know that free 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 Uh, the husband is there and hello so since then we started on this journey and now we are trying to understand their married life and this is where we are yet she had loved him he says that no but uh, you know like uh, i do love him and then she adds um, sometimes that means not always right yeah we study on is read on who was helping us read often she had not often she had not she's telling yeah. us that she had loved him sometimes and then she is telling us you know uh, what a what a what a what a very uh, a very honest confession often she had not that means out of 100 times if they have lived for 5 years together then more she has not loved him and sometimes she has loved him. It, it, that's the way the graph will go isn't it that's the way the graph will go or oh, how, how will the graph be how will the graph be how will it how will the graph appear more often she had not often she had not loved him my goodness me makes me think we're talking about a husband and wife and here the wife is telling us that today when she thinks about her relationship with the husband she's suddenly realizing that most of the time she did not love the husband when would you not love we had a little discussion last time when do you think a person would not love the husband now where do you find a wife who says i don't love my husband no i think i've i've loved him very little most of the time i don't love him are you understanding their relationship it is beginning to unfold in front of us you know we are get, we are getting uh, we are getting uh, the details about their married life so much we are trying to understand the married life so much from here often i hope you are underlining the key words which will help you to bring out the question is the question on this page is somebody remind me what is the question we are working on description of description of a married life description of the married life so we are trying to build on the question description of the married life and we are trying to look at the details often she had not mrs malad had often not loved the husband and had loved him sometimes pain very painful to hear this Let's read on. What did it matter? What did it matter? What? She says it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Why? Let's read on. What could love, the unsolved mystery, found for in face of this possession of self-assertion? which she suddenly recognized as a strongest impulse of a bee another very very important line let's try and understand this line i'll take you to this what could love 
the unsolved mystery. Count for what was the importance of love, he said. In any case, the person who could have loved her is no more. So there's no point now. When he was, maybe he didn't love. And that's why she couldn't love him. And now, she says, it, it didn't count. It didn't matter. It had no value. It had no importance. It, it was like of absolutely no importance. In the face of self-assertion. She says, now that I've got freedom, I've got freedom. In front of this beautiful freedom, whether he loved me, whether he didn't love me, whether I loved him or whether I did not love him, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I've got something more important in my life now. I've got my freedom. The self-assertion. At least I can do what I want. I can eat what I want. I can cook what I want. Maybe I can even get up in the morning the, the, the time I want. I don't have to think of getting up at 5 o'clock. Maybe I can sleep as long as I want. Are these important things, children, in life, what I just said? Freedom to do all these things? Ma'am, I have These freedoms are very important. Or, 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 or you think of something like freedom from Britishers. Now that is important for the country, definitely. Yes, isn't it? that is. But what about an individual's freedom? What is yes. it that we, we talk of here? How, how do you look at freedom? How do you look at freedom in your life? How do you look at that? How do you think of that? What freedoms would you ask for in case you, you had to ask for? What are those things? Tell me, what will be those small, small things? Maybe very small things. Maybe from a teacher. Okay, okay. We, we talk, Tanisha says she feels like a bird who is now free from the cage. Maybe from a teacher, what would you want? Which freedom? I'm trying to bring this click on this view, but I'm unable to click on this. I don't know why. Anyways, uh, yeah. So which freedom would you want from the teacher? If you would want a freedom, what, what would you want? What normally do you ask a teacher? Ma'am, please give us a... Have you ever asked a teacher? Any teacher? Uh, in your in your junior classes, ma'am, please give us a uh, what? Fill in the blank. Give us what? Yeah. Let me see if it's come in the chat. Give us less homework. Okay, time to complete our homework. Ma'am, please give us the freedom to complete our homework. Give us less homework. Most common thing that you all speak. Ma'am, please give us a free period. Yes or no? Have you ever asked for this? Yes. In any of your classes? Yes. So, you know, we, we, we ask for a free period or, or we, we, we want break or ma'am, please take us for games. Isn't it? So, what are you asking for? Something which you're not getting. What is it you ask for is because something which you are not getting. Isn't it? That, that's what you're asking for. Now, here, this is what she says that now that I have my freedom, I have nothing else to ask for. I have nothing else, nothing else. The self-assertion which she suddenly recognized as the strongest impulse. It talks about here. Strongest impulse of a group. She is celebrating. Paradox. Very opposite. She is mourning. 
she is definitely mourning. Do you think she is mourning or she is not mourning? You know what is paradox? Paradox is two opposite things happen. She is mourning the loss and at the same time, what is she doing? Yeah, let me hear it in the chat if you don't have the mic to speak. At the same time, what, is she, what else is she doing? Unknowingly. Unknowing, not that she planned it this way, but what is she doing? She is at the same time also somewhere on this page. When you come to this particular page, she is able to accept the joy, she is able to accept that inner accept joy, accept the freedom, accept the freedom. She is able to accept the freedom. You know, she's moved from from mourning uh, she is mourning she's still mourning her ha her heart is sad uh, it's not that you know she wants to dance no she's mourning but at the same time she is accepting by the time we have come to this page you know that whole journey when she was alone and she sat and she cried and and then now she is accepting that freedom which is coming let's read on please help us to read Free body, soul free. She kept, kept okay. So, so what is she whispering? What is she whispering? Free what? body and soul free. Free, free. The body is free, right? My soul is free. My soul is free. So, why, why is her body free? Why? How come her body has become? What? In what way? In what way has the body become free? As a wife, how has the body become free? How would you put it? Put it in the chat. Maybe as a wife, obviously, you know, we have a relationship. Husband and wife have relationships, isn't it? They have uh, a physical relationship. Marriage is something where, you know, physical relationship becomes a part. And, uh, you know, sex becomes an important part in marriage. So she, she says, my body is free now. So what is she trying to say about in this? What is she trying to say in this? That... Maybe, uh, uh, maybe she had, she was in a relationship, physical relationship with the, with the husband, where she didn't want to be. Maybe she didn't like uh, the, the physical aspect, the physical aspect of the relationship. Maybe, maybe there were times. Maybe it could be. Maybe when he, she, she was very tired, and uh, you know, she had just finished with a lot of work. And, and the husband said, no, I need you. I need you physically. I need to make love to you. And she would feel, no, I'm so tired. Please, you know, I'm so tired. And he said, no, no, no. No, I'm the man. I am the husband. I decide. I don't know. I'm just trying to think along with you what could it have been. Why does she say free body? She talks of body. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe it could be a hint about domestic violence. that uh, maybe she was beaten. Maybe she was slapped uh, in, uh, at times. You know, when uh, when uh, she was not listening to something. Maybe if she was late in cooking, maybe she was slapped. How else would she say? What else do you think it could it could mean here by uh, body freedom of body? I need space. To, uh, can we have it? Can I need it to be there on the view? I need to get you away with the book for a moment because I'm discussing a very important aspect right now. So I think I'll do that. Just put it in there. Whoever is there, then that's great. Right, so what do you think of this body part? Why else would she say? Do you agree to this? You can put it in the chat if you feel that there are hints of uh, something to do with uh, 
violence um, on her body? Why else do you think she would say, my body is finally free? Soul. She talks about freedom of soul. She talks about freedom of soul. I'm unable to bring uh, my view on the center screen. How do I do that? I'm just stopping the sharing for a moment. So, what I'm trying to talk of is here. So, she's talking about free body and free soul. So, we, we don't know. We, 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 are unable, we, we are not having an interview with her that we can ask her questions. But uh, we can only understand uh, marital life that they both had from whatever are her uh, expressions uh, now what she's saying she kept whispering she said free free body free soul you know yeah yeah it could be a lot of restrictions on her there could have been restrictions maybe the way you dress maybe parde mein rahu I have no idea what it was, which culture she belongs to, but she is talking of that she feels free, her body feels free, her soul feels free. Maybe even soul, soul would mean maybe there was there was an imposition on her thoughts, on the way she th on the way she thought. There were so many impositions on her. You know. So, do you think uh, what do you understand about their marital life from this? Was it a very jovial one, happy one, or what? What is it that you can gather from here? Does it seem to be very, very jovial, very cordial, very happy one? Yeah, a lot of oppression, a lot of oppression, definitely. All these words. Every single word, no will of her own. Maybe she had no will of her own. She was not allowed to do many things uh, that she would have wanted. See, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe sex was imposed on her. Maybe others' thoughts were imposed on her. Maybe uh, there were a lot of restrictions. Maybe there was domestic violence. Maybe she was slapped and beaten. And she could do nothing. And I'm sure we've heard about a lot of these things in real life too. We have heard about domestic violence. So this, uh, uh, a lot of things could be there. Not being able to go out. Maybe when she wants to go to the market, she's not allowed to go to the market. She can buy. She cannot buy what she wants. These are small things. And that's what we are told. So. With the death of Mr. Malad, she tells us, free, free, my body is free, my soul is free. That's how she is. Yeah. Let's read her. Josh Fang was kneeling before the closed door, with her lips to the keyhole, imploring for admission. Now, what's happening on the other hand? Josephine, the sister. Now, look, she is in the room. Let's understand there are two places. We, we, there is one side, you know. Uh, we have uh, she in the room. And she's thinking of open window, you know, some 
some thoughts have come to me i'm free free body free soul um i often i didn't love him you know this is what she's going through in that room let's for a second pictureize what must be happening below where all the other friends were standing and where the sister was they must be thinking oh my god you know mrs malaj is locked away in the room alone i hope she doesn't commit i hope she doesn't commit a suicide i hope she is well she is suffering from heart disease i hope she is not fallen down i hope she is not fainted poor thing must be going on crying are iski to zindagi kharab ho gayi abhi to now nothing forward to look in her life what will this poor thing do now life mein sab kuch you know everything is finished for her do you feel these could be the comments going on um, amongst the people who were standing down excuse me um, yeah priya very important point we will we'll discuss this uh, priya is bringing out a very important point in the chat that the husband had never looked but only with love on her means the husband loved her the husband loved her like anything and she says she is free let me take another example of what priya is writing important point i may teach you you know i may teach you a poem and i feel oh i have taught very well you know i've i've taken say five classes and i have explained it very well and i have given them notes and everything does my teaching well ensure that you have understood it no ma'am thank you you are so much you good to hear your voice i know you were struggling out in the waiting room for so long was missing you isn't it now as a teacher i may feel and i'll go and tell you know maybe the principal ah maine to bahut acha padhaya tha pata nahi uh, that's your opinion isn't it yeah so the two doesn't match when can i when can i say that i have taught well you know i'm not talking about myself but just somebody x y z when can a teacher say that she, when can it be proved that she has taught well when the students will say yes that teacher has taught well who will decide the teacher teaches well the teacher herself students the students husband says we are told husband loved her great the teacher teaches who will decide that i am loved if the teacher says i love my students who will decide that the teacher loves the students the teacher or the student and both uh if the teacher says i to love them no nee. but if the students are not feeling her love then that means her love is not reaching them isn't it ma'am from home side we are talking from the student side or from the uh, teacher side any side any side the love will only be said to be love if the receiver receives it not the giver okay. let's understand we has brought up a very important and, and point what about one side love uh yes in which you are being honest and you are giving your love that's wonderful but if uh, yes, just receive, like you are you are a teacher and you love us so much and some students uh, don't may not, not love you may not receive it may not receive it that's a different thing that's a different thing but i must make that's an effort that's not your fault but the but, love is there 
love is there love is there definitely now this is where a very important point i think both divyanshu and priya are bringing up so what do we do here we are also told that he loved her and this wife herself is saying that he always loved me he always loved me and then she says but after he is dead she says i am free was there any fault in his love that means or was the fault with the wife both maybe both maybe both maybe he was loving her in the way he wanted to love maybe the wife it's like papa ne kaha beta ye wala bag khareed my my baby she can see her love baby she can see it's like let me tell you let me take an example you know you go to the market and and you say papa mujhko ek device khareedni hai na suppose suppose money money sab hai and the father goes to the market and gets one phone for you love you say papa ye wala wo wala chahiye tha aur aur mujhe to blue color chahiye tha father says look out of love i have got everything that i could have done for you it matters it's 10000 this is our papa 10000 ka hai bahut acha hai thank you so much but aap thoda mujhse puch lete meri choice kya hai main 10000 mein leta lekin blue wala lena tha aur usme i wanted a few more things and wo 10000 mein aa gaya what do happen what happened here the love expressed doesn't match with the love expected we are discussing real life we are not discussing only mrs mallard why do you think i'm taking this up why do you think this is in your course because this is a real life situation we the teacher also may think i've done the best for the student and the student will think no she has not done the best hame to ye chahiye tha ma'am ko ye karana tha we are we are expecting something or expecting more exactly now you lose the right word expectations expectations from one person when they do not match with what another person is giving there can be a mismatch this person is giving the best but it is not matching with the expectations of the other person so what do we do this is what happens but in here. our expectations we can't see the love the love care the love care maybe what you want is the mama mummy chaliye aap jo hai na aaj sirf ek dal bana dijiye chalega but please come and sit with me and talk to me maybe that's what you want as love and the mother says no 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 look i won't sit with you i'll make a lovely you know three course food for you that's how i'll show my love to you but you say nahi mujhe wo nahi chahiye but sometimes it can be felt not every time we can see the love we can feel it also very true sometimes we'll understand no in her cooking is the love at times the mother will have to understand no my child doesn't want good food from me all the child all that the person wants is my time a little bit of my time actually the love is she is cooking the food for us not you was know. she could in the lunch or dinner Isn't it? But she put the food for us. That's the love. Now, how many children? How many uh, people? Divyanshu, such a valid point you are taking up. How many children will have time to understand this? Tell me this this kind of thinking. They'll feel nice. Mummy, have you time? Any day? Forty percent of students. And they'll have complain. They'll have complain against Around their time. mother. They'll always have a complain. No, we have time. Any day? We have time. About. about the time about the taste many things many things. this is real life this is real life 
actually uh, we are expected that she gives five hours six hours but uh, she gives 10 minutes of her day that's more than enough for a child actually quality? she gave 10 minutes from her busy day it could be same with the father same with a friend you know relationship is i'm not talking of just mother children i'm talking of a lover you know with the beloved you know what the beloved wants and with the beloved no, actually, wants yeah actually the love is best of a mother and children <laughs> i like that much all love is much. good all love is good only problem is expectations and uh, and what other person is giving mismatch this is where the problem is maybe as a beloved i want earrings hai na and uh, you feel nahi maybe i should give her a rose and, and the beloved says aha uh -huh, you got a rose i wanted an earring and she's not happy or maybe there's another one and says why did you bring the earring uh, actually, you should have got a rose for me uh when there is a when there are expectations uh you can hurt yourself and the other person also very when there is no expectations the love is very true honest very, loyal very beautiful no expectations answer. love is unconditional love should not have any condition any expectations whatever the other person is doing for you take it whatever you can do for the other person do it the day we remove expectations from the relationships they'll survive if we are thankful are mujhko itna time de diya 5 minute bhi de diye bahut hota hai thank you but if i was expecting sirf 5 minutes i'll end up hurt so one important we lesson and we'll end that up we hurting ourselves her. yes that's it. both ways you know in a relationship both people get uh, hurt yes ma'am the the other person also and we hurt ourselves also and then we get hurt double because we see the person we love hurt you know such a beautiful emotion and and it ends up hurting both just because of expectation now this is where this is an important life lesson my dear children i have learned from myself in my life from the story and i encourage you to learn let's try and keep love unconditional let's try and remove expectations from love from any any relationship let's be happy and thankful for whatever we are able to get from the other person i'm sure each person is trying the best each person likes to give the best but maybe due to energy maybe a teacher is unable to teach all that well because of energy problems like maybe because say i'm old maybe i'm not able to manage it could be children trying their best to write but maybe circumstances at home circumstances in their life maybe device problem network problem understanding problem what to do everybody is trying their best yet everybody is getting hurt one thing i am very sure of and i have learned in my life that love is unconditional when we love we just love no complaints no expectations it it, it may be simplifies things we see in mr and mrs malard's case in the chapter that there is some mismatch because it is mrs malard telling us that husband loved her like anything and then she says she wasn't happy maybe because she was expecting more love maybe she was expecting okay. something different yes more or maybe different some different things she wanted from him and he used to love her like anything without even understanding am i loving correctly or not is she happy with the way i love her do you think they were communicating with each other were they spending time and telling like look do you think in their relationship communication was good enough open 